What is up guys, Blacklight Android HD here and today I'm going to be making uh, the best configuration for your Galaxy S4 so I don't know if you if you watched my first video on this channel actually <coughs> sorry for my voice I got a cold yesterday but the first video on this channel was about the best configuration for the Galaxy S1 that was the phone I, I had at that time now about three years or two years later I have the Galaxy S4 as you know and uh, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make your Galaxy S4 look like mine here so I got a request from one of my subscribers telling me that I should do, do this uh, type of video for regarding the Galaxy S4 so that's what I'm here today <clears throat> again sorry for my voice because uh, I got a call yesterday and uh, yeah it's pretty pretty nasty so um, first of all I would like to, to tell you that uh, the, my device is rooty so um, this is a very 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 complex uh, way of customizing, customizing your Android phone first of all is the base the base I'm running uh, right now is Omega version 39 and I'm gonna show you right now by going into settings and then no, about device let me focus it says Omega version 39 right here and the KT kernel released on 12th of uh, August I think yes not August July July okay 7th of July and um, the fact that I'm gonna be telling you right now is that uh, I do not recommend Omega ROM Omega ROM anymore because I've built my own ROM and you know you may try it as I said before I got two videos regarding this my ROM on this channel so you may check it you may check them uh, it's called BHP ROM and I've uh, recently released the latest base which is uh, I think 2.0 turbo diesel edition you can find it on XDA I'll touch a link into the description down below uh, so the main fact is uh, you should go for with Omega Omega or or BHP ROM my ROM but uh, the base remains the same and the base uh, is touch with the kernel also remains the same KT kernel is the best kernel I all I will always recommend it it's the best kernel you will find for Galaxy S4 and I'm gonna be showing you the configuration right now um, but first of all the first thing you will you will you will notice is that everything is changed right here it doesn't seem to be a touch with ROM well it is a touch with ROM I showed you earlier but the launcher I'm using right now is Novo Launcher Novo Launcher Prime actually version 3.3 .3 stable and uh, <clears throat> now you may wonder what icon pack am I using well I searched the Google Play Store and I couldn't find it anymore so but I found a similar one like this so it's called uh, Jill Icon Pack. It's free, and it has about uh, one um, one thousand icons. Yes, one thousand. And it's uh, it's uh, I think it looks the same as this, but if you don't like it, I will attach um, a link in the description, uh, which will lead you to this this icon pack which you you can find it anymore on Google Play Store um, anymore uh, yes so this is my first uh, my main screen as you may see here I got a big widget regarding I'm gonna show you information that uh, okay so I got here the clock the location the date the weather and uh, other other informations like internal SDs SD card storage, external SD card storage, RAM available and uh, the CPU temperature and right here out of the temperature of uh, the the forecast actually and uh, 
the top right corner I've got the battery which also is uh, shown right here if I click you will get so this is called a transparent widget clock you will get a full forecast for for the next days and for the next or for the next hour with the regarding informations and uh, I'm gonna show you the app right now it's called transparent clock widget I think is the first one yes is this this application right here um, well you may wonder how did I put these icons like this first of all you you will notice that I'm using a very strange DPI this user who who made me do this uh, do this video again regarding the Galaxy S4 asked me how to configure this DPI so to configure this DPI you will have to download the uh, mm, DPI changer I think it's an app ooh, ooh, yeah it's here it's called text text droider DPI yeah and I'll open it and as you may see here currently I'm running this device at uh, 350 dpi the stock one the stock one is i believe uh, 480 480 dpi so the the more you you decrease in the in this value you will you will be able to see a larger screen yeah in terms of of, of space for 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 example so and uh, in this launcher you may configure the rows and the columns you may want your your shortcuts to be to be positioned um, I got a separate video on how to do this also in my channel it's called the how to team your galaxy as transparent and you'll find all the settings about this uh, this uh, this configuration but to be sure I'm gonna tell you some uh, some some features of uh, some features of this configuration so desktop we've got a desktop grid of uh, 12 and 11 12 rows and 11 columns weight margin it's none height margin it's it's sorry it's also none persistent search bar it's the lollipop one <coughs> sorry Scroll effect home screens, there are three of them. I've showed you earlier. Well, I haven't uh, showed you, but uh, I will right now. So this is the the main screen. This is the 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 left screen. In the center, I've got a flashlight. No, oh, I pressed it and uh, and yeah. See here. <clears throat> I've got three three shortcuts on the top of the screen uh, regarding uh, my favorite sports like live score for football, tennis score, recording. Right here I've got um, let me see check the camera because I don't know if you can yeah Deviantor very very good app for for pictures dream days it's a day counter and biorhythm right here I've got some applications regarding GPS copilot for example and uh, my mobile data storage right down below I've got also three applications regarding my favorite part of my Galaxy S4, the music it's called a view, view match meter and I'm gonna show you what I mean by that we're gonna open the power amp a little bit yeah we're gonna play some music but not uh, yeah we're gonna play this and if I open the view app, as you may see, yeah. 
also the Spectre map. It looks very, very, very good. Okay, so I hope I will not get a fragment of copyright notice right now. Um, the main screen, you can access it by pressing the home button, also setting in uh, the configuration itself. Right, right down below, I've got uh, camera apps, Pixlr uh, tool for editing uh, pi pictures, I use it a lot. Quick pick the best gallery in the world. Uh, here we've got some exposed modules like uh, like uh, app settings I will, they're also shown in the video I've already told you the how to team your Galaxy S transparent uh, I've got a signal info, Wi-Fi transfer files an app, Music Jump which I use for downloading music uh, MX player, best video player, exposed uh, modules Tapa talk to interact with other people from XDA and so on. I've got here Instagram, write down, uh, uh, I don't know if you can, but I, yeah, it's hard to see. Uh, right down below in the right corner, with the browser, UC browser, I use it most of the time, but I also use uh, Chrome Beta. Messaging app, files, with our rules. I use the root explorer. Root Explorer, yeah. Calendar, Real Calculator, Viper, which is the best application for fine tuning your audio system. Um, I also have some presets here if you'd like to share them with you. Is presets for my headphones the headphones HVX1X, an external speaker two, two profiles very very well configured for bass and treble and yeah it's a very good fine tune configuration then maps and KT kernel KT kernel I always uh, it's a uh, the sorry is <coughs> the application that controls the wall kernel the KT kernel and I also got a got a profile here, three profiles actually. They are stocked in my BHP ROM, so you 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 don't have to to worry about them. If you install my BHP ROM, they are already configured and ready to load up while opening this application and grant the the root permission. I got BHP Balance, BHP Performance, and BHP Super Battery Saver. Um, so my 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 hint my. My two cents right now are are going to to you guys. I hope you'll you'll try you'll try the my BHP ROM because it's worth trying. Believe me, in my opinion, is the best uh, best Galaxy S4 ROM, TouchWiz based ROM. Uh, if I scroll down the notification bar, you will see that. Okay, let me. Okay, so that's good. You'll see that uh, if I clear notifications, I've got here the uh, kind of a wallpaper, actually. Yeah, in my notification bar, you can configure this. Uh, you can watch how to configure that also in my other video, how to trim your transparent, how to trim your Galaxy S transparent. It's also included in that. You will use gravity box for that. If you want this wallpaper, tell me and I'll upload it on, on Mega and I will share with you. Uh, how to look your thugles like this. They'll also include it in uh, my video. That video I, I told you about. But uh, to to be more more specific it's called uh, the S5 System UI Team and it's a one ohm exposed module from Exposed Installer. Oh, well, I'm running bad with my battery, so that's nasty. Let's get into the third screen. Here I've got the speed dialer for, 
for my best friend and my family. Here I've got applications for for YouTube stocked in some folders from cloud from flight informations when I got uh, people coming to Romania from uh, from other countries here I've got uh, some weather applications like um, B weather so no not not the B weather that's the Wii U weather it's also a very good app so here we've got notifications of uh, eWeather is the best weather app you will find on Google Play, believe me. You will get tons and tons of information about everything and it's very 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 accurate. So here we've got some GPS applications and here then here I've got Shazam, an application regarding the live scores of my of Romanian uh, football league and the tuning radio pro which helps me singing in a bath while while taking a bath you know connecting to radio stations and radio stations and so on here i've got the google persistence but the google search bar from uh, lollipop uh, wi-fi wi-fi and signal uh, icons uh, any other things? The messaging app you've you've seen before was uh, let me check the messages. It's uh, the I don't know <coughs> what is called. Jesus, yeah, Firefox just popped up. don't really know but I will search and tell you in the description <clears throat> I'm not right in the best mood of making this type of tutorial guys I hope you all, you'll understand uh, my camera won't let me record more than two minutes so I, I'll have to end this video uh, one more thing the WhatsApp I'm using WhatsApp plus plus and uh, let me blur it a little bit so you can see the messages uh, if you like this team <coughs> sorry this is also a configuration of mine you can uh, have it uh, by accessing the descriptions right below and I'll attach a link if you were using WhatsApp plus you should you can just go to plus and then uh, go to let me see more I think and load the uh, load themes store an SD card and I'll show you how to how to load the uh, yeah I think I have the yes it's this ISF last dot XML oh, this is the theme if you're interested in how it looks let me let me show you it looks exactly like this yeah so I think that's it guys for now I hope you really enjoyed this video uh, if you did please as always thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and by doing that you'll remain updated with the latest Android news and Android custom ROMs and tutorials and how to flash things so again if you like to see all my configuration, please watch this video and also the how to theme your, your Galaxy S4 transparent. Uh, I will attach a direct link in the description to it, so you you don't have to search it anymore. So Blackline Android, thanks you for watching, guys, and uh, stay tuned. Bye bye.